Hey Libra, welcome to your weekly reading for July 5th to the 11th. My name is Johanna, welcome to Tenacious Soul. We are going to go through some general messages for you guys for the week, so take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. Uh, you guys can follow me on Instagram as well. I post different readings over there and um, yeah, different things throughout the week. So if you're interested in that, the link for that is in the description box, okay? So Libra, we have communication. We also have patterns in reverse, which I actually just had this in the same spot for um, Gemini. So there definitely could be communication coming forward, Libra, this week, or maybe you're communicating with somebody. Oh boy. That is a lot. So I'm going to take those back. What does Libra need to know this week? What does Libra need to know? We have expectation, and I literally just had that as well for uh, Gemini. So you're the... Could be dealing with a Gemini. I'm getting a different message, but sim similar cards, right? Um, so you could be dealing with a Gemini. Maybe you have Gemini in your chart, but... I feel like you're expecting communication and I feel like it's from somebody from your, the, your past. Like some of you are expecting a pattern to like repeat itself. Yeah, we even have romantic love uh, in the, in the, uh, or behind it here and then secrets behind that. I kind of feel like you're waiting for something almost like to be revealed or somebody to say something to you. Um, you're waiting for somebody maybe to come back or even like, I don't know, it's like you maybe maybe don't feel like this cycle is necessarily over. Or there's unfinished business. Let's see. What's going on for Libra this week? We have the Queen of Pentacles. The Magician. The Four of Cups. In the recent past current energy we have the queen of swords we have um the six of wands we have the three of wands near future we have the queen of wands we have the ace of cups and we have the two of cups interesting bottom of the deck energy we have the wheel of fortune so there's there is changes here coming in or just happening in general in your life. I feel like there's a new opportunity for, for you. Some of you could be done a pattern and now you're expecting something new. Like some of you could be expecting that like newer energy um, as well. I do feel like you're looking for success. You're wanting to obtain success. Like you're, you're definitely manifesting new love. Um, I feel like you've been waiting for it, but it's like you feel like it's maybe not here. So recent past we have the Queen of Swords, sorry, the Queen of Pentacles, the Magician, and the um, the Four of Cups here. So, again, I feel like you're, you are manifesting an opportunity. Um, some of you could, again, still be focused on the past, though. So if there's a past person or, like, an energy of, like, maybe still thinking about a past person, like, there could be, that person could still kind of be in your energy. I don't really feel like you're talking to them. Because I feel like you're more waiting for something to come in towards you. And I feel like you're waiting for this this new love offer to come in. But it's almost like it's not here yet or you haven't maybe met them yet. We're, we'll kind of clarify what that Four of Cups is. Um, now, current energy with the Queen of Swords, we have the Six of Wands and we have the Three of Wands. Again, it's like you're waiting for someone to come in. Waiting for some sort of like attention almost. And if you have a lot of options or if you have options, I feel like you're maybe even trying to discern like how or who is the right one, like who should you move forward with. But a lot of you with the three of wands, you're waiting for this attention to come towards you. You're expecting communication from people. Because um, we have three queens here, which tells me you're very much like in your feminine energy, regardless of whether you're male or female. It's just like you're in that energy of re receiving. And I do feel like in the near future, um, new love is definitely coming in. We have the Queen of Wands, we have the Ace of Cups, and we have the Two of Cups. This is somebody either you find very attractive, they find you very attractive, could be very mutual. Um, but definitely new love, Ace of Cups, um, and the Two of Cups. So this is definitely somebody who you could enter some sort of like a partnership with. And this is what I feel like you've been waiting for, is, is this 
new opportunity in love. And it's interesting because we don't, the only queen we don't have is the queen of cups. We'll see if she comes out, but, um, she's currently the only queen that we don't have, which tells me that like, you're not emotionally invested into someone right now, or you're not expressing emotion to someone right now. You are standing in your power, but, um, with all this queen energy. So I'm not worried about it. It's just, I always look at when there's a bunch of the cards, like which suit isn't out. So let's see what this four of cups energy is in the recent past for you, Libra. What is this four of cups? We have the hermit. Yeah, you feel alone. You feel like your opportunity is not here. You're trying to manifest it, but it's like it's not here yet. Five of pentacles. Some of you maybe have like, you keep hoping it's going to show up, but you really, it's like you maybe don't have like a ton of faith in the situation. Maybe you've been single for a long time or you know you've been waiting for a new opportunity give me one for the magician here for libra what's this magician card here for clarify the magician oh my gosh there was a couple here that flipped all right the magician oh my gosh yeah, you guys are definitely like, there's some sort of change happening in your life that I think is affecting why this opportunity hasn't come in. So we have the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Five of Swords, all clarifying uh, the Magician. And we have the Five of Wands at the bottom here, which tells me that like, with the two fives, we had the Wheel of Fortune originally at the bottom of the deck, like there's change happening in your life. And I feel like that's why maybe the manifestation's not here. I feel like it's something from your past is still needing to kind of be cleared up. It's still in your mental space. You're still thinking about it, maybe a little bit emotionally tied to it as well, especially with the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Swords can be kind of like mental, mentally painful, but also I feel like there's always like an emotional, like you feel backstabbed or, or yeah, you just like can't get something off your mind, which usually plays on your emotions as well, you know? So it's like emotionally, you feel like a little bit betrayed almost for some of you from a past situation, which is maybe why maybe you just haven't been open to new love in the past as well. For some of you, you've wanted it, but I feel like there's a difference of wanting new love and then being open and receptive to it as well, right? Um, so let's see what's going on in the current energy here. Let's see what this six of wands is. What's this six of wands? The lovers and the six of swords. Yeah, you want to move forward. You want... Um, you want someone to come towards you or you to go, you want to move towards somebody else. Some of you may have a choice as well. Like you may have to choose who you want to move towards or somebody may have to choose to come towards you as well. Cause there could be a person here that maybe has two options or they maybe have to, you know, choose to come forward because maybe they have some work stuff as well as like, you know, relationship things. What's this three of wands? We have the tower and the page of cups. Yeah, I feel like it's coming in quicker than you think. I do feel like there's somebody on their way towards you, but you're just like, you're kind of, again, you're waiting for this person. Maybe trying to figure things out in your own life with the two of pentacles again at the bottom of the deck. So maybe you're balancing things out in your own life, you know, getting your own life in order so that when this person comes in that you're kind of like ready. Um, Let's see what this Ace of Cups is in the near future for Libra. What's this Ace of Cups here in the near future? Eight of Pentacles and the Empress. So it's going to grow and expand if you put the work into this. Like, I feel like it's going to start out. It could start out small with that Page of Cups. Um, we have the Page of Cups, the Ace of Cups, but I do feel like this is something that could lead to commitment. Um, yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Also, I feel like this this relationship in general will be very abundant. There'll be a lot of growth that can happen here, but I also feel like you look really good to this person. This person wants to invest time and energy into you. They want to get to know you. Um, a lot of you, this person wants commitment as well. And for some of you, this can come in when you're really focused on your career. What's this two of cups? The 10 of wands. Tell me more about this. The two of pentacles. Yeah, some of you are going to be busy working. 
and you're now you're gonna have to balance your work and this this relationship which might kind of stress you out a little bit however I also feel like this person's willing to put in the time and the energy to get to know you. Tell, give me one more with this Ten of Wands here. What's this Ten of Wands for Libra? What's this? Oh my gosh. Ten of Wands. Five of Pentacles. Somebody could also be letting something go. It could be work-related. Somebody could be going through an ending while this relationship starts. What's the Two of Pentacles? Yeah, death card. There's something that this person has a lot on their plate or you have a lot on your plate and something maybe needs to end in order for you to be in this relationship together. Ten of Pentacles so that you can grow together. What is ending? We have the chariot. What's ending? The three of Pentacles. Some of you, it's something with work. Somebody could, be, could have been like overworking as well. But I feel like almost like there might be even be an achievement which allows somebody to let something go. Or they actually want to work on this with you so they're willing to let go of something else. Some of you this could just be like somebody having their options open and like letting go of the options to be in a relationship with you as well. Yeah, Hanged Man, Seven of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. It's like this person or you even had this choice of like, am I going to invest in this situation or, if, or am I going to like dip? <laughs> I kind of feel like for some of you, this person's either really selfish or like not, e not even necessarily in a bad way, but somebody who's very focused on their own life, putting in a lot of energy and time into their own life. They might have to leave that to, to open up to you more in order to build something with you. Others of you too, it's like, they could have been a bit of a player and had options. And I feel like they're gonna have to let that go to move into, yeah, the devil, the three of cups and the ace of pentacles. I see this person letting go of that, but I don't even really know if it's like, I don't even really know if it's that they're a player as much as they maybe just had options that they're gonna have to let go of. Some of you, if they are playing the field, like it could be unexpected that you come across this person and they weren't expecting it either. And then they're like, oh shit, I actually like this person. Maybe I should stop doing this. They could have even been someone who was like a little non-committal as well. Um, and so, but they, I feel like they know that they need to let, whatever this is, they need to let this go. So let's see what your advice is, Libra. You have the Knight of Pentacles reversed, the Nine of Wands. Let's see advice for Libra. And the Ace of Swords. Again, that communication piece, Eight of Wands. Um, I feel like take things slow if you need to take things slow like maybe communicate that if you're not ready to move forward very quickly like maybe because this could be you even not sure if you want to invest in this and maybe it could be because of the past but there's definitely need for communication with this person that's coming in here because I feel like there is love here and there isn't a lot of opportunity to grow, but the communicating communication piece, especially with the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Wands, and we have the communication card, like definitely communicating how you feel will be very important so that you don't go back into old patterns and old habits. Don't block this person out just because you could be afraid or you're fearful of what to say or you have to express your feelings like don't block this person out because of that um, just communicate clearly with this person if there's a reason why you don't want to move forward or you want to move slow or if you're fearful of the past or there's like some past energy still around you i feel like you really want this though But whatever your hang up is, whatever is kind of like blocking you, communicate that with this person. Like be open to this person is kind of what I'm getting mainly. 
So that is what I have for you, Libra. Hopefully that's helpful for you guys. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful week, a wonderful day. And if it doesn't resonate, you can check out your other signs, okay? So I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.